right. Well, it's a wonderful day to be into the specialist games that Games Workshop has to offer because they just dumped a whole bunch on us today. So first things first, we're just going to get cracking on this. So um, if you haven't picked up the Blood Bowl box set, the, the latest edition, well, good news. Uh, you can pick up the uh, Imperial Nobility and Black Orc team card pack uh, just to get that sorted out. Nothing new there. We've seen this before. And uh, likewise... Everything that was in the Blood Bowl box is now available by its lonesome. So, take a look, see. Griff Overwald and the Elf and Dwarf Biased Refs. <laughs> uh, and one Varag Ghoulchewer. What a good scary boy he is. Uh, likewise, hey, it's the Imperial Nobility team. We uh, kind of have a Kind of have a handle on what these guys are about. Um, the 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 Borgenhofen Barons. <laughs> um, gives you enough for a whole team. And likewise, the Black Orc team as uh, the Thunder Valley Greenskin. Uh, as opposed to regular orcs, mind you. Uh, this one comes with uh, six orc linemen and six goblins. Of various stripes, so. And of course, the dice to go with. Uh, the Imperial Nobility side has this kind of, um, well, it's kind of ugly, but uh, the green skin ones are black and green, so. Shocker, I know. We've got uh, the new Crimson Court for Dire Chasm. This is those uh, hype-looking vampire dudes that uh, everybody was lusting after for so long. So, um, yeah, it comes with four fighters. Um, and, of course, you can take the stuff that's in the Dire Chasm boxes and turn them into, well, just about any dang thing you please. Uh, so if you wanted to start a Flesh Eater Quartz or a... Uh, you know, old school vampire counts uh, army. Well, this is a good start for it if you're not into Dire Chasm. Grand Alliance Death Dice Pack, uh, newly updated. We've got, well, whatever all these are. Obviously, the Hit Dice, uh, Magic Dice, and Movement Dice. It's been a long time since I've played Dire Chasm, so... But uh, if, you, if you're if you deep into it, you know exactly what you're looking at here. One of the last ones, the two-player starter set for Warhammer Underworlds, uh, the arena combat miniatures game. So uh, this one comes with, well, these aren't, these aren't new miniatures, by the way, but um, these are new named characters uh the celestis fighter and uh dreepers wraith creepers <laughs> jeepers uh but basically this is everything you need in uh shade spire to get started very interesting very exciting uh if you haven't gotten your friends into underworlds uh now is a great time <laughs> uh and finally the biggest of the boys, the largest of the lads. It is the War Master Heavy Battle Titan. Because you know what we needed, desperately needed, was a bigger giant robot in our giant robot game. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's a War Master Heavy Battle Titan. It has twin plasma destructors, its own um, command terminals, you know, its own cards. <laughs> comes with two weapons called plasma destructors and one called a revelator mitchell missile launcher revelator mitchell launcher a revelator missile launcher um i don't know how big this thing is when fully built i'm guessing it's about oh wait no huh. it's 100 percent to scale on the box but you can see that it's barely fitting on this tiny little base here it is a large lad. <laughs> it's 
the biggest of the boys. Come and get it. You know you need it. Um, because Adeptus Titanicus is um, is the kind of game that you play because you love robots to an unhealthy degree. So uh, that'll about do it for uh, new releases this week. It's all specialist games all the time. Uh, but if you have a hankering for some Blood Bowl or need to get giant mechs, well, come on down. We'll get you sorted out. And as always, thanks for watching.